All right. Uh, hi, my name is Doug Kemp, and I'm a senior in college. And uh, the plan I just uh, researched on is the Melissa officinalis. Uh, it's in uh, Lemmyaceae family. It's also known as Min family. And its common name is uh, Lem bomb, uh, just a bomb, a bee bomb, and sweet bomb in English. And there's some other uh, pronunciation in Chinese, but I'm not Chinese, so I can't pronounce it. Uh, so for the over, um, present for this presentation, I'll just go over the botanical information and distribution around the world. Uh, traditional use, especially in Europe and uh, United uh, North America, and chemical compounds from plant, and then biological activity, clinical studies, contraindications, and allopatric. <clears throat> All right, so for the botanical description, as I said, it's a uh, Lemmyaceae family, uh, and also known as mint family. Uh, because as a part of mint family, it has a lemon fragrance, and some say they have uh, mint flavor, like tasting when you uh, bite it. But uh, if you want to get uh, smell the lemon fragrance, uh, you need to damage the leaves in order to uh, have a lemon fragrance. And uh, it's perennial and dicot, uh, but the roots are only perennial. The leaves are actually uh, die off at, uh, during winter. And then uh, leaves are, uh, as you can see, close, yeah. Uh, as you can see, the leaves are uh, heart shaped and tooth end. And flowers are uh, white or yellow. And uh, it, the flower itself is a bee attracting uh, due to honey. So uh, in, as I mentioned here, uh, Melissa is bee in Greek. And dispersal is by uh, seeds or a division of roots. And uh, distribution, it's, it started from the uh, southern Europe region, but uh, because of its I guess it's very tolerant to uh, almost every uh, environment. So it spread down to uh, Africa, um, Mid Middle East, in Asia, and uh, American continents, Europe. And I didn't find it out they, uh, whether they live in Australia or not, but I don't, I don't think they live in there. <coughs> It's traditional use. Uh, they uh, in Europe they use as a, a bomb tea uh, as breakfast, and many of many people uh, have uh, drink a lot of it. And I just I'm just gonna read it from here. Uh, Paracelsus and Swiss Swiss botanists during Renaissance, uh, they he mentioned that uh, this plant can revivify a man. And uh, in Engli English uh, journal, I think, uh, they mention <coughs> it can uh, renew youth, strengthen the brain, and then uh, languish in nature and prevent baldness. And uh, common light water for uh, neuralgic affections. Uh, actually, uh, Emperor Charles V uh, consumed it daily to uh, get uh, urologic affection. Uh, and uh, it is used to attract bees. So uh, if you want to get uh, like honey or something from uh, beehives, uh, they usually plant it uh, beside uh, where bee reside. So they can just like uh, let bees come near to the uh, lemon balm and then they can just uh, go and hunt wh whatever they want from the beehives. And <coughs> they are good at uh, depression. And in US, there were two uh, tribes that were using uh, this plant, Cherokee and uh, Costanon. Co uh, Cherokee region, uh, they used it for uh, old cold remedy, uh, favorite food purposes, uh, stimulant, tonic, and ma uh, many other disease. And in Costanoan, uh, they use for uh, infant's colic and stomach aches and other uh, gastrointestinal diseases. 
and also they use for uh, essential oil and food flavoring. Okay, uh, for the chemistry and pharmacology, there's one research that were uh, that were actually concentrated on uh, finding uh, chemistry in uh, constituents, and uh, A. A. Uh, Teher Par actually uh, studied for it, and they used a headspace sol solid phase micro extraction method. I really don't know, yeah, uh, what it is, but. And they found out that uh, 12 out of 14 compounds uh, that are, which cover 85% uh, of the plant. And then uh, three main components are uh, acytral, which, co uh, which covers 37.2%, neural, 23.9%, uh, uh, and uh, citronella, 20.3%. Uh, and uh, other chemistry include terpenes, tannins, and eugenol. In bio biological activity, uh, they were treat treated for the agitation, and they were also uh, uh, experimented for the antiviral activity with herpes viruses. And they used the uh, herpes uh, simplest virus type 1 and type 2, and they used it on a monkey kidney cell. And both actually uh, worked pretty well. And uh, in vivo, uh, active on neurogenesis and uh, antiviral activities on in different viruses. Actually, uh, in that this experiment, they used the uh, egg, the egg, egg embryo, and then they injected like uh, several uh, viruses, and then uh, <coughs> with viruses, they act, uh, injected the um, lemon bombs extract, and then they found out they are. Uh, you, they can uh, attack to uh, different uh, viruses, and then they are actually inhibiting it. And there are also antioxidants and antigenotoxic. In clinical trials, uh, they they were performed uh, herpes treatment. Uh, they were experimenting on the two uh, two hundred. 200 uh, participants, and then they found out the 90% healed two six days faster than uh, they use uh, just regular um, medication. And then uh, it it has a great effect on stress, insomnia, and anxiety. Uh, as you can see, there are uh, multiple decrease in anxiety related uh, insomnia and also all the other stuff. And they are also uh, effective, more effective on the uh, when they are used with uh, lavender. And uh, with same experiment, uh, they were using uh, attention and cognitive skills. They found out, and then they saw there's um, they actually improved the uh, attention and cognitive skills. And then uh, actually they were uh, very good good at treating uh, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, usually they put uh, placebo in, uh, for the medication, but uh, they found out it, it works better than placebo when used uh, for the lemon balm. Contraindications, uh, I didn't find much about the uh, side effects or contraindications, but they just said a pregnant and breastfeeding woman is prohibited of use. And then because of its uh, suiting uh, your body, relaxing your body, uh, they said uh, <coughs> using, using with uh, sedatives and thyroid medication might be dangerous because it could uh, integrate and then it could cause more uh, problem. And then the drowsiness and uh, stomach problems and nervousness could occur. Uh, current use in allopathic and chem therapies um, they were using mostly for the insomnia and then relaxing uh, your body. And some, some others use uh, for the in, uh, indigestion, gut pain, and sores. And actually, uh, I found out from the uh, Colgate uh, product that they are actually used for the uh, toothpaste. And it act in our uh, textbook, it actually said it could be work, 
working as uh, oral hygiene also. And it is uh, used for tea by uh, reducing uh, fever and then uh, perfumery to suit properties. And uh, it, it is sold in many forms, capsules, topical, and all the other stuff. And one of the experiments actually uh, that they found out a phenol phenolic uh, ingredients inside it. And then uh, they found out that there that uh, they can be used for uh, many uh, medications. All right, for uh, so for the conclusions, uh, lemon lemon fragrance perennial herb that are uh, distributed widely, so uh, it is easily used from uh, different uh, continents and traditionally used from Europe and. Uh, America, Northern American uh, as both medicinal and food. And its main ingredients are uh, e citral e citronella, nero, and much more. And experimented for uh, antiviral, neuronal, uh, antioxidant, antigenotoxic uh, activities. And its uh, clinical stu studies found out for uh, it are very, it's, it's very good for herpes viruses, Alzheimer's diseases, and memory focus, stress relieving. And uh, it has few cautions, but uh, it's minimum, so you can use it freely. And many other camp therapies and other patients use it still on today.